Well, that was different. Hey everyone, it's Sharana from Pay or Wait, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Netflix film Horse Girl, which is now streamed on the Netflix platform. Um, this film is directed by Jeff Baina, and it stars Allison Brie, um, who is a socially awkward woman who loves her arts and crafts. She loves her horses and her supernatural crime shows, um, but her world starts to get a little bit distorted when her lucid dream starts trickling into her real life. Um, so this is actually one of the films that I was able to see last month at the Sundance Film Festival, and it was a very interesting experience. So for those those of you who are new to my channel, I really just talk about the film and tell you, is it worth your time streaming or not? Um, also too, as you guys can tell, I am still sick. I still don't have my voice. I thought if I took a day off, my voice would come back to me, but it said heck no. So here we are today. Um, so going into what I enjoyed about Horse Girl. Um, first I would have to say from a writing standpoint, um, so actually Jeff Baina and also to Allison Brie, they co-wrote this film. And I think that they did such a fantastic job of really trying to show mental illness um, from the actual viewpoint of the person dealing with it. I think a lot of times in films, we watch it um, from a outside looking in kind of opposite observing the symptoms of this person and while it does that it does do a good job of trying to help you focus and see how it would feel as though someone dealing with mental illness how they actually see and view the world now this works for the most part of the film I would say the first two acts of the film, I think that it really, really works. And they do a great job of getting you um, kind of in invested in her character, but also to just trying to understand who Sarah is. Um, as I said, she comes off as, you know, just a very quirky, socially awkward type of person who probably just really hasn't had that much interaction with people. Um, but as the story, can, as the movie continues to develop, you get to learn not only more about Sarah, but also to her backstory of her family, where she comes from. And kind of some things that may be hereditary. And that's another thing that I appreciate that stories like this or movies like this are doing now is talking about the mental illness and how it can be hereditary. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, I tried to keep it in, but I couldn't. Um, how it can be hereditary, how you can inherit some of these traits from your family. And really, if you don't deal with it as a family, how you're really not prepared to really um, be able to successfully go through life. And so that's one of the things that I do appreciate. But <clears throat> Alex and Bree's performance is absolutely fantastic. She totally sells it as this awkward girl, almost to the point that even when you start to see that she may have some other issues that she's dealing with, you're just sitting there like, wait a minute, like, is it just because she's like awkward? Or is there something else going on? Like, what is happening right now? Because I am totally confused. Um, and I like the additions that they have kind of to her circle of Molly Shannon. <clears throat> Molly Shannon's character, who is a co-worker of hers. They work at an arts and crafts store. I really love their relationship in the film. And I love how it shows that even people with mental illness, they can still have friendship. They can still have a social life. Um, they still have people who actually care about them, care about their well-being. And also to Jake Reynolds, who plays um, kind of a love interest. I love how with his character, um, <coughs> you think that they're both like, okay, like this is a match made in heaven. They're both like socially awkward. They both like just have, they live in their own little world. But I love how as he gets to learn more about Sarah, he gets to see how she's interacting and how she's kind of losing her grip on reality and what's real and what isn't. I kind of love his reaction because the whole time you're thinking that they're just alike in the film. Um, but then as you see how he reacts to it, because it's something different than what he's used to noticing, you get to see how people may view those with mental illness differently or they don't really try to understand them. And so I kind of like these very... Uh, like the contrast between Molly Shannon's character and Jake Reynolds' character and kind of how um, John Reynolds, I'm sorry, I keep saying Jake Reynolds, John Reynolds and how they kind of interact with Sarah's character throughout the course of the film. Um, but I think for me, what kind of loses it for me and I think will lose it for a lot of people would be the third act. The third act is very bizarre. Um, and Sarah really gets convinced on this idea that she has that she's losing grip on reality. Um, things start to get very bizarre she starts to behave in a totally different way and then the movie just really pushes the boundaries and really goes out there and when I first watched the movie I'm not gonna lie to you like literally the lady I was sitting next to we were just like what is going on like I don't understand I don't know what's real what isn't real and when the movie ends after the third act I was just like 
this started off good, but I don't know. I felt like the third act really messed the film up for me. And really at that point, I was kind of just like, mm, I don't think I enjoyed the film so much. But to be honest with you, after I sat back and really thought about this, like I watched it two weeks ago as I've been thinking about um, this film, I do appreciate the like it really tries to push boundaries and I appreciate them really trying to go for it. Um, I think that in society today, we kind of really want all of our questions answered. We want everything buttoned up in a little bow for us when we finish watching a movie. And I think because this movie doesn't let you know what is real, what isn't real. Is she suffering from mental illness? Is she not suffering from it? Is she better? You're just kind of like, I don't know if I liked it because you didn't give me the answers to the questions that I needed. But when I think about it, you really never know. It could be real because it's real for her. And what she's dealing with, like in this world, that is real to her. And I think that's one of the things that I actually started to appreciate about the movie is that it never does answer the question for us because it can be answered yes and no. It's real and it's not real because for her, this is her reality. But for us, we don't understand because we don't know what Sarah's actually going through mentally right now. And so I think for me, what I would tell you guys is I still think that this movie is worth the stream. Um, I think that the third act is very bizarre. And I think for some people it's going to turn into a love it or hate it. If you're someone that needs everything answered for you, you probably won't like the third act of this film. But I think because they do such a great job in the first half of the film, really getting you invested in Sarah, bringing you into her world, having you understand who she is as a person before she kind of goes into this episode, I still think it's worth the watch. I think it was a great performance from Alison Brie. I love the writing with her and Jeff Baina. Um, and I also too, even though the third act is bizarre, I really did love looking at it. The colors that they use, um, the lighting that they use, just little things like that. I just don't know if for the, the average person just trying to find something to watch on Netflix, who's not trying to critique it or dissect it as much, I don't know if they would necessarily enjoy the film. But hey, those are my thoughts on Horse Girl. As always, my name is Sharonda from Pay Your Weights. And if you like what you saw today, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe, share this video with your friends, and make sure you hit that notification bell. And I love you guys 3000. I'll see you soon.